And now we have a story for everyone who exercises or plans to exercise someday. 50 million of us belong to a gym and others have machines in the house or basement. So have you ever wondered just how accurate the equipment is about distance and calories? ABC's Lindsay Davis brings us real answers tonight. They crunch your calories, calculate your distance and tabulate your heart rate. But how accurate are these exercise machines? We headed to our neighborhood gym to find out. First up, calories. After making sure these treadmills are in tip top shape, I ran for one mile, the machine logging 94 calories burned. But what was my body really burning? To get that answer, we visited the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. I feel like Hannibal Lecter. This scuba looking gear is actually a high tech oxygen analyzer that counts calories down to the decimal point. After doing the exact same warm up, I ran another mile at the same pace. It calculated I burned 75 calories. That's 20% less than the gym treadmill. Experts say that's because treadmills only take into account limited factors like your pace, weight, and age, not your running form or specific body type. The best it can do is give you the best estimate just based on generalities. Next up, heart rate. I hopped on the elliptical to compare its monitor to the specialized one strapped to my chest. According to this machine, it says that my heart rate is 136. On the watch, it says 135. It was pretty accurate, even when I really pushed it, testing my own limits, perhaps even more than the machines. 175, 173 on the watch. And finally, distance. Experts say worn out or stretched out belts can make those miles seem extra long. So make sure your gym tunes them up every month. But if a mile is generally a mile, why does it feel like I'm working so much harder when I run outside? There are many things within that mile that might dramatically affect how hard it is to maintain a certain pace. Look here, on the treadmill, my leg is being pulled back. But outside, I'm having to push my body weight over my foot each time meaning more effort to cover the same distance. Some might say this is sweating the small stuff, but those calories add up, meaning next time I might just have to run a little faster. If you want your run inside to be just as challenging as your run outside, researchers suggest increasing the elevation on your treadmill to one or two percent. That'll help recreate some of the wind resistance and those physical demands of running outside, but all runs not created equally. So that